Well, hello everyone. In this episode, I will show you the vacuum gauge uh, operation and the basic vacuum system uh, vacuum level. Uh, after about 20 minutes pumping, uh, it uh, is dropping down to this vacuum level. So uh, I have to say it's a very good vacuum level for the scanning electron microscope operation. So basically, uh, the scanning micro uh, scanning electron microscope uh, can be operated in one to the uh, ten to the minus fourth tour, but I'm reached uh, uh, minus fifth. So it's quite quite well, uh, and it's proved another thing. Uh, this vacuum chamber uh, is basically a uh, low leakage. So. Uh, in this vacuum chamber, I've already uh, put in a, a chopped uh, vacuum tube. Uh, so, you can see uh, this vacuum tube is hooked up uh, to the low voltage vacuum connector cable. So, I will apply a DC voltage to this filament. Uh, if the vacuum system is not working well, the, film, the filament uh, will burn up uh, very quickly. So now I will turn on the power supply. So one, two, three, go! So you can see uh, now the filament is heating up uh, very slowly. And the vacuum level is uh, uh, turned up a little bit uh, because of the uh, gas inside the filament material. Uh, it's an uh, oxidized uh, filament, so there's a lot of room to uh, trap uh, lot, a lot of the uh, moisture and other gases. So you can see it's uh, back to the low uh, pressure level. So, uh, thanks for the uh, turbo molecular pump. So now, uh, this turbo molecular pump is quite warm. I can, I can still put my hands uh, on this pump, uh, but uh, it's very hot. So, uh, if it's uh, rising up the temp temperature, I'm, I will maybe turn on this bloody thing. Uh, it's uh, making a lot of noise. Uh, I hate, I hate them. Uh, this is the thing uh, I took out. Oh, took out from an uh, old old school uh, tectonics uh, oscilloscope. Uh, uh, maybe a seven four D TDS seven four seven five four D. So this fan is working well. Uh, it's used 24 volts DC. Uh, it's quite well. Uh, it's quiet, and it's a lot of air, air flow uh, through this uh, mechanical pump. So now it's dropping to uh, 1.7 to the minus fifth torque. Uh, then I will show you uh, the degas uh, operation of the. Uh, vacuum gauge. So basically of uh, this uh, ionizing gauge, uh, it's basically uh, it's a trial vacuum tube. So there's a grid uh, around the collector uh, electrode uh, between the collector and the filament. Uh, the grid can be oxidized by the heating of the filament. So once it's oxidized, uh, it can trap a uh, lot of gas material, uh, gas particles, and uh, other another things. So it can be um, uh, cause a problem by the uh, measure, measurement readout. So when it's dropping down to the five to the minus fifth tor, I can uh, use the gas operation. So I will show you. How to do it? Uh, by press this button, it's automatically shut shut off the filament and apply a very high current to the uh, grid. So the grid is heating up to red hot to 
drive out the uh, gases or other things. So you can see here uh, is the Pfeiffer vacuum gauge. Uh, by the degassing operation, the vacuum level will uh, turn up a little bit. So now I will turn off the degas power supply. So I'm not burning out the uh, uh, grid. So basic, uh, the degas power supply will apply a voltage of about five volts and ten amps uh, to the uh, ion gauge, uh, the uh, uh, ion gauge uh, grid. So it will heat it up very, very rapidly. Uh, now it's cooling down. I can turn on the ion gauge again. Okay, you can see uh, the vacuum. The vacuum level is uh, rising up a little bit, but it's dropping down because the uh, turbo molecular pump is running. So this is the whole system. So the vacuum tube is still alive. Uh, basically, it showed me uh, this this vacuum chamber is working well. Uh, I'm not kill anything. Uh, I'm kill. I'm not kill this tube. It's tiny tube. It's cute. So this 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 is this episode. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.